If you're like me, you committed a lot of sins over this past year. In fact, we have a statement from Maimonides. Some guy wrote a letter to Maimonides, and he says that on Yom Kippur, we say 44 times, al we say, we, we hit ourselves on the chest and we say that we're repenting, we're trying to gain atonement for the sin that we did, X, Y, and Z. And he says to him, he, the guy writes a letter to Maimonides, he says to him, me? I don't sin. I've never done this. I don't do this. And he enumerates a bunch of the al that we say on Yom Kippur, and he says, I didn't do it. And Maimonides writes back to him, he says, not only have you done them, but each one of these things, there's a certain element of, a, of, of sin that you've done, of each one of these 44 things, and you do it every single day. So that was some scholar that lived almost a thousand years ago, and what can we say for us? You know, we're living in 2014 in America, and, and it's, it's really hard for us to, to, to be constantly on uh, alert, to have vigilance, to not sin. So we come to Yom Kippur, and we're trying to gain atonement, we're trying to do tshuva, and what we actually have, we're carrying with us, we're schlepping with us, pallets full of sin. And how are we supposed to, on, on one day of Yom Kippur, even one, uh, one time period of, of, of the 10 days of repentance, how are we really supposed to gain uh, atonement and forgiveness for such a wide variety of sin? So much sin, and it seems impossible to, to individually try to atone for each one. So I, I wanted to present here a, a perspective that uh, that I think will uh, enable us to um, uh, to sincerely come up with a, a construct that uh, that could provide a certain measure of atonement for all of our sins, uh, you know, in in, in in a specific way. I'll try to explain what I mean. We have as part of the slichot, part of the the prayers that we say during the during the the the, the um, preceding uh, days uh, before Rosh Hashanah, between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we have certain prayers that are called Slichot, which are prayers with, that are geared towards repentance, towards self-analysis, towards uh, uh, you know, self-critique. And one of the things that we say, one of the particular prayers is, uh, it starts off by, Shachar Kamti, I woke up in the morning. Right? Uh, and, and then it ends off with saying, and the insight, I think, there's a tremendous insight from here. We say, I woke up in the morning. It's not so easy to wake up in the morning. Right? But to wake up really early in the morning, to wake up like at 6 o'clock when this little star, even 5 o'clock, really early. Such a dedication. Such effort was needed to wake up in the early in the morning. And in the merit of that, I want my soul with my request and my nation with my, uh, with, with also another way of requesting, or my asking. What we're telling God, the part of the prayer, part of the liturgy, we made an effort. What do we do? We woke up in the morning. And now what do we want as reward? What do we want as compensation for this effort? I want my soul and my nation. We're asking for, for atonement for the entire Jewish people. In the merit of what? In the merit of waking up in the morning. The idea being that we, with a little bit of effort, a minimal amount of effort, it's projected a hundred million X, a hundred million times. Someone wakes up in the morning and the Torah is telling us, uh, or the prayer is telling us, that right now you have legitimate requests to ask for uh, salvation for the entire Jewish nation. Think about that. A tiny little effort during these times, a small step is a quantum leap for all of for all of humanity. Right, one small step that we do on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, one little bit of introspection, a little bit of effort that we make, waking up in the morning, it's no big deal. It really isn't, or it shouldn't be. Uh, it's not. Is it that much of a dedication? Yes, it's hard to not be awake in the morning, of course, but. We say that in the, in the merit of, of that little effort, we're able to ask 
uh, legitimately request uh, uh, atonement for the entire Jewish people. How much more so if we say, I'm going to dedicate some time for Torah study, right? Yes, it also requires effort. Yes, it's not easy. We live very busy, hectic lives. But Torah study, right? There's nothing greater than that. There's no greater mitzvah than Torah study. If we say, I'm going to dedicate some time to Torah study, how much, more for, how much further can that go? What can we ask for? The entire world, anything we want, we can ask for. Why? Because in these days, during the times of, of Yom Kippur and the times of, of, of forgiveness, the times like the Torah says, where God is closer to us, God wants to purify us, it's days of atonement, it's days of forgiveness, it's days of looking the other way, letting, you know, and, 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 and finding really easy solutions to forgive us for all our sins. How much more so when, if we dedicate some time to Torah study or to mitzvahs or to do, or, or, or to do chesed, to do kindness, or to become better, a better parents, or, or are more dedicated to the, to, to the communal efforts, communal needs, how much more so will our efforts project themselves in the way of, of atonement for us and for the Jewish people? So yes, it's some consolation for us. We, we do many, many millions of sin. Uh, of sins every year, we do. That's what he, that's the curse of humanity. There's no there's no righteous person in the land that does good and doesn't sin. Ein sadik ba'aretz ashiyah seto v'lo yachta. That's what really, everyone sins, and a sin is a really bad thing. Why? Because it's a distance between us and God, and it's a barrier, and it's a rebellion against God. Right? God gives you instruction. God's the king, and you say, "No, I'm doing something else." That's rebellion, right? That's treason, and it's really bad. But with a little bit of effort, a little bit of, of hard work, waking up in the morning, but even more so, just dedicating five minutes to Torah study or half hour for Torah study every day, right? that goes a very long way for us in the way of, of forgiveness and atonement. So it's a consolation for us. And yes, if we think about the enormity of, of, of our misdeeds and try to individually tackle one by one, we'll probably won't be able to do it where we're sitting at a greater clip than we could possibly repent for. But the kindness of the Almighty is that he gave us tshuva, he gave us uh, uh, forgiveness, repentance, and atonement, and we are able, with a small little bit, a small step in the right direction, amplifies itself uh, many, many, many more times. So we, we indeed, we could gain this great uh, privilege of, of atonement. Wish you all a Shana Tova, and may we all be meritorious this year to gain full repentance for all our sins.